Hi there. Thinking about making the move to Santa Fe, New Mexico? Before you pack your bags, here are 12 essential things you need to know to make the most of your new adventure. Hi, I'm Maya Hirsu with the Maya Hirsu and Company real estate team right here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna learn everything what it's like to work, eat, live, sleep, play, and the 12 things you need to know before moving to Santa Fe, New Mexico, make sure to tap the subscribe button and click the bell so you are notified every time we do a new video. And honestly, we get so many phone calls, emails, texts every single day from people moving and relocating here. We absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about moving anywhere in the greater Santa Fe area, make sure to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Days, nights, and weekends, we got your back when moving to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Future Santa fans, are you ready to dive into the essential must-knows before making the move to the land of enchantment? If so, welcome to your crash course on all things Santa Fe. I've got 12 essential tidbits you need to know to make the most of your new adventure to hit the ground running in the city different. Let's jump right in. One, ah, the charm of Santa Fe. Get ready to be swooned by our iconic adobe architecture, vibrant culture, and rich tapestry of cultures. Get ready to fall head over heels for the beauty of this city. It's like living in a real life postcard. Two, outdoors galore. Outdoor enthusiasts rejoice. With over 300 days of sunshine, Santa Fe is your playground. Whether it's hiking, skiing, or simply basking in the sun, there's no shortage of adventure here. The best part is that just 10 minutes outside of town, you can escape and get away into the wilderness and feel as if you're miles away from civilization. Ah, the smell of pinon and junipers in the air. <clears throat> Three, say hello to your new food obsession, new Mexican cuisine. Different from Mexican cuisine, new Mexican cuisine has its own distinct nuances. Think green chili everything. Think savory and sweet, from mouth-watering green chili cheeseburgers to chocolate infused with green and or red chili. Or perhaps like me, you might end up for a soft spot for sopias. I like them for dessert with a bit of honey, but some prefer them stuffed as a savory main meal. No matter what, your taste buds are in for a treat. New Mexican cuisine might just have you coming back for seconds or thirds. For Art lovers rejoice. Santa Fe is a haven for creatives with its endless galleries, museums, and festivals. Get ready to be inspired because honestly, art is like air. It's everywhere and it's abundant. One of my favorite galleries is the Matucci Gallery with its sculpture garden around the pond. Go check it out. It's so serene, a true slice of heaven. Five, traffic alert. Okay, kidding, not kidding. For the most part, we do not have anything that I would consider traffic. The one caveat being we are a major tourist town, so during the height of the season, yes, traffic and parking in downtown Santa Fe have a bit to be desired. Now, while we're not exactly gridlocked, it's good to plan ahead during peak times and be prepared for congestion, especially during peak tourist seasons, because then you'll experience a double whammy. So do yourself a favor and give yourself a little extra time to get around. Naturally, at peak tourist times, parking can also be a challenge in the downtown area, so consider alternative modes of transportation, like biking or public transit. And hey, why not embrace the laid-back Santa Fe vibe and opt for a leisurely stroll downtown? That solves all of your problems, plus it helps you get in your steps for the day. Number six, house hunting. Santa Fe's got you covered with a range of housing options from cozy adobe casitas to sleek modern condos. We also have views or acreage, so pretty much whatever your flavor is. Take your pick and make yourself at home because there's something for everyone here. Seven, shop local. Santa Fe thrives on its unique boutiques and markets. Support your neighbors and discover some hidden gems along the way. Some of my favorites are Doodlets, The Ark, Curiosa, Susan's Christmas Shop, the Case Trading Post at the Wheelwright Museum, and El Museo at the Rail Yard. Oh, the list goes on. Ask me when you get here, I'm happy to share. Number eight, the heart of it all, the plaza. This historic gem is where the action happens. From festivals to markets, there's always something going on. One of my favorite things to do is to get a Frito pie at the five and dime, sit on a bench, and watch 
the world go by. While eating a Frito pie is not really healthy by any means, it is a tradition in my family, so when in Rome, but seriously, sitting on a bench at the plaza is always very amusing and fun because you just never know what you'll see. There could be an antique car show, a band playing in the bandstand, indigenous people dancing in authentic garb, a craft show, you name it. I've seen it and thoroughly enjoyed every minute of it. Number nine, school's in session. If you've got kiddos, rest easy knowing Santa Fe offers a variety of education options to suit every family's needs. The city is home to a variety of public, private, and charter schools, as well as educational resources like the Santa Fe Community College, which won the top prize for the 2015 Aspen Prize for Community College Excellence by the prestigious Aspen Institute. Number 10, high altitude alert. We're not just talking about your spirits, but our elevation too. The City Different is located at a whopping 7,199 feet or 2,194 meters, and so it's easy to get lightheaded if you're coming from a lower elevation. Those with lung, lung issues tend not to do well at our altitude and often feel better with oxygen or returning to a lower altitude. So stay hydrated and take it easy. We want you at your best. Number 11, wallet woes. While Santa Fe offers a stellar quality of life, it's good to keep in mind that living here might be a tad pricier than some other spots, depending on where you are coming from, as it can be higher than the national average, mostly due to home prices. For me, a California transplant, overall, it was less expensive. However, it really depends on what you're used to. So definitely compare the cost of living index where you are now versus here. I did a video called Decoding the Cost of Living in Santa Fe, New Mexico in 2023. Is it affordable? So check it out. In any case, trust us, Santa Fe is worth every penny. Number 12, embrace diversity. Santa Fe is a meeting pot of cultures and perspectives. Get ready to make friends from all walks of life and enrich your own journey along the way. You just never know who you might meet in a line, at a restaurant, or an event. Keep an open mind as we get all walks of life speaking all sorts of different languages. Last but not least, when I'm talking with friends and colleagues, I always ask them what they would share so it has been sprinkled in here. However, the other day a friend told me that he tells people, bring your money and your significant other. I can't say this is the first time I've heard something along this line. However, this was definitely the most succinctly stated. And to some extent, it does seem appropriate depending on your age. Personally, I'm an optimist at heart and I would like to debunk the statement and only time will tell, which is why I didn't make it an official number on this list. And there you have it. With these insights, you'll thrive in your new life, embracing endless possibilities in this enchanting city. If you're considering a move to Santa Fe, New Mexico, we would love to help you find your dream home. All we gotta do is hear a few things you like, a couple things you don't like, the styles of homes, where your job is, maybe you don't have one, maybe you can work from home, what your lifestyle is like, things you like, what do you wanna be close to, and we're gonna be able to know exactly where you should be. And we're gonna be able to know it instantly, no matter what. We have you covered, and we have a couple of areas that will fit you perfectly. But the only way we can help you, you gotta reach out, you got to shoot us a call or a text, send us an email, days, nights, and weekends. We've got you covered when moving to Santa Fe, New Mexico. For more insider tips and tricks, make sure to tap the subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. Just remember, once you've experienced the magic of this place, you might find it hard to leave. I did. Enjoy the enchantment, my friend. Until next time, walk in beauty.